During the recent Suzuka race weekend, Mercedes encountered significant setbacks, with their drivers finishing in P7 and P9. Lewis Hamilton's radio communications during the event shed light on the team's current challenges in the 2024 season. Despite playing the role of a supportive teammate by allowing George Russell to pass, Hamilton expressed frustration as the team's tactics didn't seem to favor him. As the dust settled from the race drama and Hamilton earned only two points, one wonders if the seven-time world champion is reaching a breaking point. Has he resigned to the realization that competitiveness with Mercedes may be waning? Suzuka was another disappointing chapter for Hamilton, contrasting with promising practice sessions. However, starting from P7 for the first time this season, Hamilton couldn't surpass Russell, finishing in P9. Although Hamilton initially hoped for a better outcome, his performance suffered due to apparent damage from contact with Charles Leclerc and subsequent understeer issues in the race's early stages. Consequently, he made the strategic decision to let Russell overtake aiming to optimize the team's overall performance. Despite the advantageous cloud cover and cooler temperatures during the race, Mercedes failed to capitalize on the opportunity, with both drivers struggling with pace after switching to hard tires. Hamilton's move to support Russell was calculated, considering his own compromised performance. It underscores the challenges Mercedes faces in maintaining competitiveness in the current season. As it became apparent that the car's vibrations remained unchanged and Mercedes would be contending for scrap points, Hamilton's frustration became palpable. He instructed Bono to alter the strategy, recognizing that their initial plan was destined for failure. Hamilton then discussed the car's performance with different tire compounds, noting that the hard tire performed poorly while the medium tire was superior. In hindsight, he acknowledged that opting for two medium tires would have been more advantageous. Notably, Hamilton willingly allowed Russell to overtake him, a gesture not commonly associated with his competitive nature. However, after a few laps, it became clear that their pace was lacking, necessitating a change in strategy. Despite Hamilton's directive, Mercedes only partially complied by calling him into the pit. They proceeded to equip the GLU-15 with hard compound tires. Despite their inferior performance, potentially jeopardizing Hamilton's chances for a competitive weekend. Hamilton questioned the time lost during the pit stop, expressing dissatisfaction with the tire choice. Mercedes defended their decision, citing their tire allocation strategy and the potential for one or two stops after the red flag, hence opting for the hard tire restart. As the race unfolded, tire degradation indicated that a two-stop strategy would be the fastest route to the finish line. Despite displaying solid pace in the second and third stints, Mercedes couldn't recover positions lost due to overtaking and strategic differences, preventing them from achieving a higher position, likely limited to P6 due to Suzuka not being their strongest track. In the recent race, Hamilton and Mercedes had hoped for a better outcome, but even with favorable conditions, aiming for a P6 finish highlights the ongoing challenges within the Silver Arrows team. Hamilton's expectations for the car were initially met with satisfaction from the engineering team, but the sudden loss of pace left him feeling stranded on track. Post-race, Hamilton could only chuckle at the meager points gained, finding it disheartening to continue the season in such a manner with a team he's been associated with for over a decade. Moreover, publicly acknowledging himself as the slower driver suggests he may not receive priority in team strategies or decisions moving forward. Contrary to Hamilton's sentiments, team principal Toto Wolff expressed contentment with their performance in Japan, despite the discrepancy in viewpoints. Wolff emphasized the success of their experimental approaches, citing a clearer direction and improved understanding of the car, despite the lackluster results in qualifying and racing. Although they initially aimed for a one-stop strategy, tire management challenges forced a rethink, ultimately leading to a competitive performance once speed and stint lengths aligned. Despite this, Wolf acknowledged the importance of translating their direction and data into tangible results, particularly with the upcoming race in Shanghai. The discrepancy between expectations and outcomes raises concerns not only for Hamilton, but also for his team at Russell, who undoubtedly didn't join the team to settle for a sixth place amidst stiff competition from McLaren and Aston Martin. As frustrations mount within the team, maintaining morale and performance will become increasingly crucial as the season progresses. Presently, McLaren holds the third position in the rankings, with a considerable lead over Mercedes. 
Consequently, Mercedes' primary competition seems to be coming from Aston Martin. This situation could be different if Lance Stroll could enhance his understanding of the car's capabilities, akin to Fernando Alonso's adeptness. Adding to Mercedes' woes is the impending freeze on development discussions with the seven-time world champion for the 2024 season. Hamilton has acknowledged the likelihood of this happening sooner rather than later. Unlike in previous instances, such talks are anticipated to commence earlier in the year, rather than waiting until the end of the season. Hamilton expressed his readiness to initiate discussions with Toto Wolff, acknowledging the unfamiliarity of being in such a position at this stage of the year. Despite the anticipation for the future, Hamilton's focus remains on achieving success in the present challenging phase. Mercedes' current struggles have led to the observation that they are now on par with midfield teams, notably in a close battle with Aston Martin for fifth place. The lack of Hamilton's influence on the car's development trajectory, coupled with the team's current performance, hints at the possibility of this season being one of the toughest in his career. Moreover, the responsibility for guiding the team's decisions for the remainder of the season falls on his teammate, a situation that has raised questions given past experiences. With these consideration factors, doubts arise regarding Mercedes' ability to conclude the season satisfactorily. Furthermore, speculation arises about Hamilton's commitment to improving as a driver within the Mercedes team, contrary to his established principles and dedication as a member of the Silver Arrows.